dreams around the body of its most wanted man. Wanted for crimes that had left two people dead, several police officers wounded and the security of an entire country shaken. This is the man police believe terrorised the nation, a 22-year-old gang member with a violent criminal past, born here in Denmark and named as Omar Abdel Hamid El Hussein, shot dead on Sunday on a Copenhagen street. I heard shootings and a lot of shouting from people on the street. I looked out and there was a lot of policemen and a, a guy, man, laying on the ground. The gunman struck twice before he died. On Saturday, he shot and killed a man attending a meeting on freedom of speech. Hours later, he fired at a synagogue, killing another. Early on Sunday, the suspect was met by police near his apartment and died in an exchange of fire. But this one-man rampage could have been so much worse. Inside the synagogue, dozens of children had been taking part in a ceremony to mark the Jewish end of childhood. All that separated them from the gunman was a door, two police officers and a security guard who died in the attack. His name was Dan Uzan. He was 37 years old. Hours earlier, the gunman had claimed his first victim, 55-year-old film director Finn Nergard. Amid the chaos outside the cafe, he lay dying as people ran to his aid. Today, the cafe window shows the brutality of that attack. Peter Back was inside when the shooting started. There was these gunshots. Then there was somebody who shouted, uh, duck, duck, uh, go to the floor, and, and uh, were searching the uh, back entrance. Actually, I saw the guy with the gun. I was afraid he saw me, so I ducked uh, behind the car. Police say the man they shot here last night was already known to security services and that these shootings seem to have been inspired by the attacks in Paris last month. There's no reason to believe this gunman was working with anyone else, they say, but the threat from attacks like these is being felt across Europe. Today, the Prime Minister began the process of mourning these attacks and of answering them. To the whole uh, of the Jewish community today, they belong in Denmark. They are a strong part of our community and we will do everything we can to protect the Jewish community uh, in our country. One by one, Denmark citizens followed her in the familiar gestures of grief as another European pavement becomes a place for memorials, another tribute to Europe's faith in the freedom of speech. Lucy Williamson, BBC News, Copenhagen.